So are things going with your data collection? Um, I think or, I'm yeah, selected the, the teacher that I will really work And so why are you choosing these two? What's, um, what's unique about these two cases? Yes. Well, because some of, some of them, um, in like, the question number five and question number six, um, mm -hmm. so they well, I don't really, I really tend to stick to the question mm -hmm. And how many did you apply in total? How many questions? I think there was like 15. Okay. Or, yeah, it was 17. Okay. All right. So, have you spoken with these two teachers yeah. as far as starting the plan now, the next three, three and a half weeks for your data collection? Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Um, the school, I don't need to ask for permission. I Okay. Right there. Okay. And um, I was just wondering how many after this. All right. So let's see here. I would start with three for each, uh -huh. and see what type of information you're getting. If you feel that you're getting enough. Um, I would say anywhere between three to four. Uh, but again, it just depends on if you think that you're getting enough information. So, um, because, um, they're like, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, I can do like one week and one week for the two things at the same time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, schedule one and one, and then, um, And then you maybe have a third week to schedule. Now, yeah, you have to think about to the interviews. Have you uploaded yet the information yet to uh, Google Drive for the method section, the participant section? I am only the Okay. Okay. Um, but you have the instruments also, right? You can upload. Okay. So. Yeah, that's fine. Let's plan on that Monday. The first week, rather, the um, observations, and then, yeah, split it up into two different weeks. Uh, but think about also when you're planning on applying the, uh, the question. I'm sorry, the interview. Yeah, um, so... Well, since I have, like, uh, a yeah, the preference if you can schedule closer to the week, like if, if you can do it at the end of the week, for example, and see see what type of information you have, um, then you can kind of evaluate after that first week and second week, see if you, what you need for the third week. So mm -hmm. if you get to have another week there, you can apply maybe another observation if need be, or and or an interview. Mm -hmm. um, are these and they're teaching from the same school, right? No, they're different. Different school. Yeah. Is that okay? No. Okay. Um, but I was thinking perhaps um, a focus group with the two, if you can schedule it, depending on logistics, um, to maybe at, at the end, when you have all the information, if you think that it's needed, um, you don't have to make that decision now, but just be kind of aware as you're going through and collecting your data that you're getting enough to thoroughly answer your research questions. So, if you think that you need another interview or another observation or even a focus group, uh, it might be a good idea to have a focus group if you can arrange it because they might, together, as you are discussing these things, they might come up with additional insight 
and additional information that might help you. So that's a possibility. So um, um, this teacher has four, fifth, and sixth grade. Is it okay if I choose to um, observe like fifth, like different grades, or if I should pick like the same thing? Mm -hmm. You're going to be kind of doing a comparison, right? So, um, did they all teach each grade at the same time? Mm -hmm. Or? No, she has fifth grade first. Okay. Yeah, fifth grade, and she has probably the, grade. The, the same grade. The same grade yeah, because yeah. they're going to be different teachers, different schools. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you can do the same grade, that's probably. Best. Yeah, I, I, I thought about doing that in my app for the fifth grade. Okay. Mm, what else? Okay. Um, Go back, and it looks like they didn't answer this um, question. So make sure you go back and get that. So, um, so this is accurate information about each each one. If there's something that's not you're not clear about, or you know any of this information that is here in the questionnaire, or that you have here, or what you observe in class, think about all of that information when you are doing your interview. Um, so it's when you it's important to really prepare for that interview to look at all the prior data that you've collected to see what you need to ask to clarify if you're not sure. So this might be a, one of those things right. where you might ask um, amount of time working institution. You may ask questions like, since she did put here how many hours per week, yeah. you might ask, well, how many hours do you work? And, just to really, since you are going to be doing a comparison, really get that information from the independent variable side that is so that you can kind of compare that as well. So remember that you're kind of comparing to a degree the this information that is the independent uh, variable information plus obviously everything else with regard to your research questions. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, and we'll some clean. Now, are the lesson plans, have you seen the lesson plans yet for these two no, I teachers? Seen, but I think they're going to be the, like same? the same. Because of start, right? Right, and okay. because of the fifth grade. Um, okay. okay. All right, well, looks, looks fine. Um, now, in the method section, I don't know if you had a chance yet to see the video that I uploaded in Canvas, uh -huh. but um, I'm, I tried to clarify what, what we need to finish for this week. Um, in the method section, we need to include the three sections. In the procedure part, where you describe the process that you, how you apply your instruments, uh, at, at the end of the day, you're going to need to write it in the past tense, but since you haven't applied it, you can either write it in the past tense, or if you want to write it now in the future tense and later change it, that's fine, but um, just write out what you think, how you think you're going to be applying this. Now, yeah. It's going to be your best guess now, and that's fine later if you have to go back and change it. And, and, you know, if it looks like you have one more interview, that's fine. But just make sure that you always go back and update uh, the method section so that it's accurate. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, I wrote it in the past because I, okay. I saw the video, All right. but I did like that. Okay. And, yeah, so I think. Um, the, I have to include the appendix. Appendix A or? Right, so the order in which you present, in this case the instruments, whatever is in the appendix, is the letter designation that you're going to give it. So the first time that you mention anything that you are referencing in your appendix will be C Appendix A. It's a letter, not a number? It's a letter, okay. not a number. Oh, right. Number. Okay. right, so it is, you'll have like at the end of each sentence in parentheses mm -hmm. in capital letters, the first letter as C Appendix in capitalized. Capitalize C and capitalize appendix. Oh, I capitalize that. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, don't capitalize that every letter, but capitalize the first uh, okay. letter of C and the first letter of appendix mm -hmm. and capitalize A. And that will be at the end 
of each sentence. And then when you introduce the next instrument, C appendix B, C appendix C, so it'll just be in order. Um, and there's no need to include citations unless you're adapting any instruments that are coming from an outside source. So some of you may not include any uh, citations, some may include some. So. And, um, instrument procedure. Uh, it's okay to write in the first person in the method section. The literature review should be in the third person, but the method, it's okay to say first, I applied this, then I applied this. Uh, the participants, probably in the third person, just talk about the participants. Um, the instruments, probably in the third person as well. But in the procedure, it's okay to switch to the first person when you are talking about what you applied. Um, 500 words approximately, and typically it'll be one paragraph for each section. Okay. And even though it's only one paragraph, we're going to keep those level two headings. So just as the template has participants, um, instruments, and procedures, just leave those okay. uh, headings as, as is and just insert the text okay. for each section. So, for example, uh, this would be my um, appendix A, but for the observation sheet, it's, I don't really have like, a specific one. Because it's going to be like a blank sheet of paper, and then I'm going to write activity, time. Okay, I would I would include that. You're going to have like a heading, and then you'll have time, activity, description, and then, and then a, a rest of it will be blank. So I would still use that as a as an instrument, okay. with the understanding that most of it's going to be blank. But just include a, a heading and make sure um, in the each appendix underneath the title where it says Appendix A, include the type list what the instrument is. So. Um, uh, question, a teacher questionnaire, observation sheet, interview guide, mm -hmm. so that there's a title for that for each uh, of your instruments. Okay. So first is like appendix, and then below that is. Uh huh. Appendix. And it'll be like a level two heading. So your C appendix A is level one, and then the title is a level two. Okay. So it'll be underneath, up to the left, okay. on the separate line, and then the rest of your instrument. So. Okay. What else? So I can start um, next week, right? Mm -hmm. We have three weeks. We have three, about three and a half weeks. Um, that that last week is Holy Week, so there's like we have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, okay. All right. So yeah, essentially three and a half weeks. So um, so yeah, each week as you collect the data, uh, we'll be talking about you. Let me know like what you have so far and how things are going as far as. You feel you're getting the right information, and and we can adjust your procedure as needed. Um, but really, try to plan as much as possible with each, each teacher. Say, okay, I've got three weeks to collect the data, and when can I observe? This is what I'm thinking. And try to plan as much as you can beforehand so that in case something happens, because sometimes things happen that yeah, the school right. might cancel class one day or teacher's meeting or something happens oh, yeah. that's outside of the control of the teacher. And then, so then you have to kind of adjust. So, um, some things you won't you you will you won't be able to anticipate, but do try to schedule as much as you as possible with the teacher, um, so you can avoid as much possible those types yeah. of situations. Yeah. Next week on Wednesday they have a meeting, so I think I'll okay. only be able to observe two to, to yeah two classes. Okay. So, so yeah, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got three <laughs> weeks, three and a half right. weeks. Right. Like and that. just plan it however you need to plan it. Um, you know, if you need to do like two. Observations one week and another the following. That's fine, but I would try to schedule it if possible as much together. Like if you can, especially in this case, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be good right. um, because you can kind of see the transition from one lesson to the next right. and kind of take it all together. But you know, if one goes into the next week, that's fine too. Um, you know, so uh, but you probably need to have. The lesson, and if you can get, like, for example, the lessons beforehand, if possible, yeah, right, that would be better. That way, you can, before you go in and observe, you can kind of look at the, get familiarize yourself with the lesson. Um, yeah. And, uh, so, yeah. I wrote that on the, the procedure to get the lesson. Yeah, good. good. So, yeah, yes. everything looks, looks like it's coming together. Okay. So, any other questions? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. You're welcome.